All right, with the Minnesota Vikings 2019 season review special, we've looked back, we've celebrated greatness. Now, let's cast our gaze the way of the offseason with some pertinent storylines in what will be a very meaty offseason for the Minnesota Vikings. Ron, a, um, a key pertinent offseason storyline for you. Well, Gary Kubiak, I mean, you look at his offense from 95 to 2005, and every season except for two, he was in the top five. So his offenses did well, regardless who the quarterback was, because yes, he had John Elway, but then he had Brian Greasy. He took Brian Greasy from a 14 and 14 interception to touchdown ratio to the next year, 19 and four. Whoa. So he's a quarterback guru. He has a great relationship with his quarterbacks. I've asked him about Kirk Cousins already. And so I'm excited to see what he can do. It's gonna be already consistent because he's gonna do the same stuff from last year, two tight ends. He wants to attack the perimeter with the run game. He wants to flow with the offensive linemen. So you, I'm excited to see what he can do because he was really good with the run. I mean, you look all the way to 2002, three and four with Clinton Portis. Yeah. You look at Mike Anderson. You look at Olandis Gary. I mean, every running back was over 1,000 yards every year. So he always made sure that he had a consistent balance of run and pass, and he's going to bring that to Minnesota. And keeping continuity with that Vikings offense, incredibly important to head coach Mike Zimmer. He gets it with the well-respected Gary Kubiak. Ben, what about you? Uh, I'm gonna stay along the same lines on offense, and I think the biggest thing for us uh, as a team, where did we fall short was the offensive line, specifically in pass protection. Uh, yes, Dalvin looked great. Um, I think he can make some, some plays out of nothing at times. He can make the offensive line look good sometimes uh, just from his own talents. But I think overall, where this team struggled was pass protecting, protecting specifically on the interior part of the offensive line. So what are they going to do there? What's going to happen with Powell Pal Pal line? What's going to happen with development of Bradbury? What's going to happen with Klein? What's going to happen actually with, with outside with Riley Reef and his contract? I know he's under contract, but there's a lot of talk about you know where we're at with the salary cap, what's going to happen, moving parts, moving pieces. So I think shoring up and giving some confidence to this inside part of our offensive line is going to be a big storyline in, in the 2020. And Courtney? Mine's kind of like a dual storyline. It's the possible extensions for both Dalvin Cook and Kirk Cousins. I'm going to start with Kirk here. Now, a lot of people are thinking, well, why would you need to extend him now? He still has one year left on the fully guaranteed deal. Well, they may do that. They may say, well, we'll let you play it out. There's not really too many lame duck quarterback statuses in the NFL, so that's the reason it's being discussed. Now, where does he fall into the mix? Because you still have guys like Patrick Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, uh, Dak Prescott, all of whom are up for their next extension, their next contract. So does Kirk get done before any of those? What's the figure? Could it be in the 36 and a half million to 38 range? I guess we'll see. But Keeping that continuity means keeping your quarterback, if you're looking at it from that perspective, but also keeping your most valuable piece on your offense, which is Dalvin Cook. Now, we I know I mentioned where safeties kind of get the running back status for defensive players, where the value you think, okay, well, don't let them to get their second contract, don't overpay. With running backs specifically, Dalvin Cook is not just somebody that you can just easily replace. I know that there's kind of that notion out there uh, that, you know, don't let your running back get to the second contract, don't overpay, but he's a dynamic player, not only in the run game, but in the pass game. So much of the offense went through him this past year, and he's on his contract, is, he's up with three years now. So he's eligible for an extension. We're going to see how much that would be because he could potentially be in the realm of the Todd Gurley's, the Le'Veon Bell's, the upper echelon. But do the Vikings want to pay for that? That's what we're going to find out this offseason. And with the likes of Dalvin Cook, Kirk Cousins, members of the Minnesota Moving Company, like Gary Bradbury into his second year, Brian O'Neill, who's fantastic, into his third year. I guess a um, kind of an offseason storyline slash vibe uh, for which I'm looking is keeping this team good because this is going to be an incredibly meaty and at times complicated offseason for the Minnesota Vikings. And there will be some names of some players, I believe, with whom you're very familiar who may not be on the 2020 team. But that doesn't necessarily mean it has to fall off. So keeping it good is of utmost importance during the entire offseason.